Third time's a fucking charm, right? I. This is the third time trying to record this bloody thing. First off, uh, I've got to turn the subtitles on, and you can't pause the cutscenes or anything, so I had to quit to the friggin' dashboard of the, the Xbox One and try again from there. And then the next time, my, uh, con my controller died. Oh, it's just a mess. But finally, we're getting somewhere. your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original, and the of the Yeah, so... Passport. Basically, I'll be putting my, uh... My whole uh, break from Let's Plays, uh, for Let's Plays, on hold. Because this is about, this is one I really want to do. I really want to do a complete Let's Play of this game. I mean, I'd love to do more Far Cry games. But I feel like if you're going to do three or four, there's no point in doing the other. Because both are pretty much the same game. But I'd, oh, I'd, I'd love to do Blood Dragon. But I feel like it's, it's, in, it's imperative that you kind of see a normal Far Cry game before you see the insanity of Blood Dragon. So I decided to start with the most recent one, the big next gen game Far Cry 4. Plus I've not actually finished this one. I What's happening? I played it once or twice, then I just kinda stopped. I'm not sure why, I just never finished. And this uh this intro was shown I think it was like E3 or some other uh gaming event. They uh it showed off this scene, and, uh, and it really shows off the uh, the game's main antagonist. Because I guess it does realise the uh, the strength of Far Cry 3 was its um, antagonist uh, Vass, and so they put a lot of emphasis on the antagonist in this game as well, Pagan Min, who you'll see soon. Oh shit! Civil unrest! Civil unrest! They shot the monkey! They shot the fucking monkey! Bastards! It's, it's like it's like shooting a dog or a child. It immediately shows you the, the bad guy. Bastards. OMG, what's happening here? Could it be his pagan men? He's wearing a coat so you can't see his like amazing purple suit. I, I just love this guy's design and personality. He's, he's just such a I've not seen that much of him, but he is a great villain. I distinctly remember saying, Stop the bus. Yeah, Troy Baker, who's usually the, the good guy in Stop games. The bus. He's in basically everything. He's a, he's a fantastic voice bus. actor. Even does facial capture a lot, and voice. motion capture a lot of time now. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? Such great deliveries. Got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! You fucking chap, you couldn't Ooh. fucking do that! So brutal, that. And I got blood on my fucking shells. <laughs> I love that line. I, I think Troy Baker actually won an award for the for yes, his performance here. Not just like a, a, an award for stuff in gaming, but like oh just a general award for his performance. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? I love how the subtitles actually are like a plus and a one and not the words. It just seems so weird to do that. I am terribly 
embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to <laughs> hold this this bloody knife. <laughs> sure, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great intro. But yeah, so that, that shot with the, uh, the, the picture being taken, I actually made that as a title card months, a few months ago. Uh, and then I made a new one just yesterday because I completely forgot about that one. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more than chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplom. <laughs> Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. <laughs> yeah, this scene is pretty long, which is why I decided to go right yeah, into the game instead of just starting on the title screen. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start, introductions. Ajay Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. No. We'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. I have to wonder if uh, Pagan Min is actually right. RJ's father. Because I, I don't actually know how the game ends, so it's possible. It's probably not, but... That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now your mother. I love that way of showing his identity. She understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That's just weird. The last time I saw Ishwabi I knew your mother. Now I'm going to taste her. She told me she loved me. Taste her ashes. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in a moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no. Men only really love you. In hindsight, too much distance is built up. So, Shame. when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure the, go the golden path of the uh, the rebels. It ruined everything. Like dinner. That no one ever teach you I mean, that's the same basic setup as um, Far Cry 3. You're helping the rebels against this oppressive really regime. For these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. <laughs> you don't text when you put it like that, it is kind of silly, yeah. So come on, you're going to cry for help. You're going to do something, you're going to do it right. right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Try for help. Help. He's a proper sicko. No, try for help. help. You mean He's very different from Vass. Vass was just. Vass came off as insane, whereas this, whereas Pagan Min's more sadistic. Nothing. I say Pagan Min's probably a better villain than Vass. Though I imagine if you did a game in which both of them work together, it'd be like the most amazing thing ever. Terrorists, right? Now. Please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Like, just imagine Pagan Min as, like, the guy in control of every everything, and um, Vass is, like, his right-hand man. I don't know why it needs to cut to black to transition from cutscene to gameplay, but I guess it was a long cutscene. I love how it gives, like, the... Uh, I think that's the same, the altitude... Oh, oh, maybe where the objective is. Oh, 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 oh there's, there's a chair. Uh, I was wondering why I couldn't move to the side. I was like, eh, eh. 
Best get the money. Okay, this will come in handy later. If we can pick it up. Oh, you, oh, you just walk over it, right. That's a bit more awkward than going up to it and pressing a button to pick what it up. Fuck? Oh. Hmm. But, yeah. You have to jump on the table to pick up the money, that's silly, but... Hmm. I'm trying to... You can't properly tell how good the graphics are, but I think this gen, the big graphical leap, is definitely lighting. Like you'll you'll see that with um, I, if if you pay much attention to Koei's Warriors games, like the big gra there's definitely a graphical improvement in general, but the lighting is the big thing. Huh. I can step on that. Let's just have it's it's incredibly hard detail they put into this. If, if I can oh yeah, B to crouch is it? Mon monkey head. Is that actually a thing? Is it, they did that in like Indiana Jones. I, is that? I, I, I would assume. I would assume this game would be a bit more better researched than friggin' Indiana Jones. I also really like that um, icon in the bottom right. That looks like it's out of card or something. Look at these statues. Oh. What? What? Ah. Oh. Tits. <laughs> I can't properly see the face. I don't. I don't know if it's just because the the way the light is in my room. Hang on. Ugh. No, I think it's just just the angle I'm sat at. You can see the face fine, but not from where I'm sitting. Uh. What's what's that? Oh, is, is that some kind of god? It could be the same one that statue is meant to be of. So let me sit differently. Eh. I can't properly tell. It probably is. It's probably the same thing, and this all, this whole thing is dedicated to this one person, this one deity. I don't know. And it, is it a, is it a real one or just made up for the game? And this seems to be the same painting. And they have three eyes. This person. I really couldn't tell where it's from. Oh, well, X to read. Recent rise called the path activity in the area surrounding ba Banapur. We have increased our presence in all southern border stations in response to the intercepted shipments of weapons and supplies, presumably destined for the Golden Path. All convoy and patrols should be on high alert for terrorist movements. Uh, yeah, one, one thing I, I, want, I want to quickly uh, comment on, actually, is when I started this game up, there's only um, what I, you only have one save. Like Far Cry Three and Blood Dragon both let you have three saves. So if you want to start the game again, you have to you have to lose everything you had before. Then ooh ammo, got money. But in this, you can only have one. I mean, when when was this game friggin' made? 1964. I mean, honestly, like what what game does doesn't let you have multiple save slots anymore? I'm pretty sure that's, that's the guy who was with with us, the monkey, as he as he's been referred. I don't actually know what his name is. I think when you go down the stairs and uh, and start looking around, RJ does actually say his name. Uh, I want to quickly keep I want to keep looking at pages to make sure there's nothing else to find because there could be some cool hidden item somewhere or money. Will you stop, mate? Look, I know you're in intense agony from being tortured and that, but honestly, some people. Candles. Candles! And incense. I, I feel like I was almost going to say incest. But aren't you like that now? Like, at, at this point in your life where you, you try to say incense and you say incest? Ooh, I like them trees. Very nice. Oh, actually, there was this thing that, that uh, the, the devs were, the, did. It was like a, they brought like a list of all the different settings uh, to put in put a future Far Cry game in. And there's and there's stuff like I think it was like the Old West, uh, a dinosaur setting, uh, outer space, and it's like just do all of them. I don't I don't know which one I'd prefer the most, but I think dinosaurs would be cool. I mean, Blood Dragon was amazing, and I'd like. Well, the, the titular blood dragons. Ooh, chopper. 
Oh, I, 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 that's probably the chopper we came in. I can't tell for sure because you don't get, get a really good look at it in the intro. Uh, yeah, good miss effects. And I like how they got all these guys down there. Like, you're, you're, it's kind of the thing that is, has EB easy to overlook. Like, because I'm pretty sure when you go downstairs, uh, a, a, you don't go out and start stealthing it through all the patrolling guards. Like, by the time you get out, like, a gunfight's already broken out. So all, all these patrol patterns are here just for this brief part. You don't see them in the cutscene either. It's just here if you're wandering around and looking around. It's like, oh, these guys are patrolling or standing around there. I can't zoom. I wish I could. Oh. Wait, that's the item wheel. Oh, right. So, so uh, it's, it's one item wheel and you press RB to sw switch between them. That's cool. Oh. Oh, the, yes, the camera, so I can zoom. Oh, I can even tag these guys, too. Um, the, oh, there's three of them. I didn't realise that guy was there. Okay, so here's the chopper. Hmm, there's a lot of, de there's a lot of detail in, the, in, in the, the, this game, considering these are things that you probably won't get a good chance to see. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's a section later on where you come back, where you come back here and, like, storm on up or stealth your way through, and these guys have these exact patrol patterns. It's possible. I forgot you can actually tag everyone. Because in other games we have like a tagging system. Like a lot of the time you can't tag them all. Well, I suppose you can in a MGS5. I just... Whenever I play MGS5 I tend to just like kill the enemies uh, right after uh, marking them. Because I, I make my own fun, you see. But yeah, the camera's used for tagging enemies. Basically you can keep track of them when you're stealthing your way into the enemy bases. It's cool. Uh, there's, there's, not, there's no, like... But, yeah, you can see them through walls, I guess. But there's no, like, um... A any kind of execute system that I can recall. So what's down there? Oh, uh, uh. Ooh. Nice cloth physics. Blowing in the wind. What's on that? Is that, like... Oh, almost like pig and mint symbol or something. Oh, Morgan. Oh, oh, it's a monkey. All right, well, some kind of primate. Oh, another one. Because you get animals running around, and sometimes it, it can fuck everything up. Like when a tiger, like, just shows up and like assaults you while you're trying to, you know, you, you could you could tag every enemy in a base, and you're about to start sniping them all, and or you've sniped most of them. There's just one guy left. You have to kill to clear out. Then it's like a tiger jumps you. And it's like, oh no, why are you doing that, Tigerman? Bloody art lighting effects are awesome. Ooh, the smoke's cool too. Yeah, uh, but it is cool when like the enemies have like a tiger or a bear in a cage in the base and just like shoot the cage and they get out. And everything is okay. I can't get better light on. I don't see a third eye. But yeah, this, this definitely helps. I, be able to, I might have to figure out if these are the same figure. For the paintings, no third eye again. So these could be different ones. Yeah. Hmm. No. Yeah, I think, I think that's everything. I'm not entirely sure. It might not be. It might be. But I think I've seen just... Oh, actually. Quick look at the the food. What is, what is that? Hmm. Some kind of toasted food and the mess from where monkey guy got his head slammed into the table before he got stabbed. And that was pretty brutal, weren't it? Pig him into psycho. And I love it. I just feel sorry for these monkeys, though. It's like, oh. Oh, the hands are holding the... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. The, ha the hands actually hold the... Cut that one's out. Why is that one... Oh, there's three of them that aren't lit. Why is that? Did I cause that? Did I step over them and, like, put, the put it out? N no, don't look like it. Yeah, I'm sat at the table again. Still. 
So I can't really identify what this food is. There's definitely some greens in there. Some obviously it's largely meat. But I couldn't tell you what they are. Hmm. I wonder, if, I wonder if these guys are going to get tired of torturing him. They've been doing it ages, like, torture the guy. Ooh. Collectibles. Uh, are these doors? I, mean, I, know, I, know, I know you can't go through them, but are they actually doors? How do you sprint? Unless I just can't sprint in this section, that must be it. It sounds like he's on the other side of this door. Though I thought he was down in like the basement. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. So I, I, anyway, um. In addition to this, I've got a few uh, one shots planned. Now. Oh no! Wait, Ashley. There's mention of an Ashley. She's not like Pagan Min's daughter or something, is she? Bloody hell! Uh. Yeah. So I got I got a few like uh, demos and stuff that I want to do one shots of. Huh. Oh, more to read. There's a recent attempt to sabotage the broadcast from the. Yeah, this this game basically plays out like every other, like every Ubisoft game doing this now. It's open world. You have some kind of tower to climb up and disable. Basically, ever since like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood did that, like they've all kind of started following that formula. Far Cry 3 used it, so obviously 4 did. Uh, Blood Dragon to a lesser extent. Uh, they got Watch Dogs and every Assassin's Creed game since, and there have been like 50 of those. Just tons. I just really need to make sure there's nothing there because I don't think you can come back here. Uh, I mean, you, you probably do at the end of the game, but I imagine then it'd be like a different version of the map where there was shit's going down, probably like a tank rolling in, blowing shit up. Uh, and even if not, you'd, be, you'd be, definitely be too focused on uh, on the gunfights or stealth stealth bits to really be able to. F focus on going around collecting stuff because there could be some unique collectible that's only here and like I said I would have to start the entire game again and lose all my progress in order to come back and collect something like that. Yeah that prompt was for that page. Can I get a better view outside? I think the pillows are making me slide off which right your head around that one. It'd be great if there was a game with pillows in it and like you could actually step on the pillow and like make it like a an indentation on it. Instead of it just being like a big solid object that you could probably kill someone by smacking them over there with it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think that's everything down here. So, can you not sprint? In, in the, it must just be like this, this area we can't sprint. I don't know what RB does. It's probably like reload or throw grenade. X is to use item, A is jump, B is crouch. I don't think you can go prone in this game, no. There's no prone state, despite the stealthy bits and the fact you can use sniper rifle. You'd think you'd be able to like, it'd be, it'd be a thing where it's like, you'd go up to a high vantage point and like look out over the enemies and then you'd be there like going prone with the sniper rifle and be like, like I, I see you. Shoot, hang on. When you when you zoom with this, it automatically forces you to stand. What sense does that make? What the hell is? Oh, no! It's just when you against an object. That makes no sense. L legend. Oh yeah. So yeah, it tells you what they all are. So. That there is obviously wild, wildlife. Predator would be the ones that will attack you. Those ones are all the normal guys. But yeah, chasers, long range, heavy hunter, civilian. 
You can even mark C4s and mines? Didn't know that. And, th and there is co-op options and guns for hire. Uh, oh, you can turn the entire... Oh, you can turn the interface off entirely and just zoom. That's cool. Ah, what's happening? Oh, fan bloody fantastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. I sincerely apologize. We saw terrorists in the area and yada yada. The crab rangoon, right? It's. <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Well, come on, let's go. Um. I, I, I don't know what I did. What, what, what is happening? Checkpoint? I don't like the looks of this. Is this some kind of like... Weird game over thing? Cause did I take... Did, did it take too long? Just looking around the environment. Taking in the beauty of this game's design for, for an area that most players would overlook. Like, am I being punished for that? You know, part of me is surprised your mother asked for you to bring her all the way back here. Will it be an alternate scene? Thank you, Cameron. You want me to follow? Jesus Christ. Yes, boy, the ashes <laughs> aren't going to scatter themselves. <laughs> Did your mother ever tell you about your father? Never know. Mohan, the oh. great protector of the golden power. Oh, yeah, I remember now. You was a cunt. He drove you and your mother away. Even killed your sister, Lakshmana. Wow. Which brings us here. What a prick. Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. I'm so glad we're finally back together. So it wait. after you. So is Piggy Min actually RJ's dad or what? Oh she was one. Oh. So I'm get Hmm. Collect. Collect Oh, collect a a, a book. It's like press X to pay respects. <laughs> Oh, in this case, hold X. Oh, that. Oh, that's what. Mm. That's that's dark. That. I mean, not dark as that bit in SWAT Four with like the uh, the graveyard in the basement for all the kids, but bloody hell. All right, Pagan Min, let's. The other guy's gonna show up and now? save me now. Get it out of your system. Good. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. <laughs> this guy is awesome. I love Pagan Min. Hold B to skip what? Well, there you have it. From start to finish, a complete let's play of Far Cry 4. I mean, I told you I was going to do the whole thing, and I did. I mean, went from the opening cutscene to the credits. At counts. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sound off in the comments if you if you realise at any point of what I was doing this whole time. Uh, did you realize I was intentionally just waiting around for, for Pagan Min to come back to get the alternate ending? And if you didn't, feels good to have finally gotten through it. You wait for it. I mean, that's that's genius. It's like, you, you just wait here for a bit, and if you wait long enough, yeah, he does come back. <laughs> I was getting worried, though, that I actually fucked it up by going downstairs. I was thinking, oh, shit, did I, did I fuck this up? It's like, nah, I, I did it all right, it's fine. So yeah, I finally finished Far Cry 4. Even though my brother bought it I, when it came out. 
But yeah, so this is the last one for a while. See you around, guys. Been fun.